LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean mini kit guide. And while this is a mini kit guide, it is not a compass guide or a true pirate guide. And the reason for that is that the compass itself really is a tutorial. There's really no need to need one for, for that because if you, as long as you check the compass within every area of the level before leaving that area, then you will be able to find all eight compass items really easily and if you play through the level you should have two or three of them already dis discovered unless it was the level in story mode where you can play as Jack. And as for True Pirate, that's really easy to get if you have a multiplier brick, even times two if you play through the level you should be able to get it. But it would, it, it is definitely easiest if you have times 8 or 16 or 24 or whatever, just because that way, the second you enter the level, you get the meter. As for the mini kits, they are not as easy. Some of them are incredibly complicated, even for a LEGO game, which kind of bothered me. And anyway, the first two, as you saw there, were really easy to get, and this one is a little bit out of the way. You just have to blow up the jail cell and you'll get to this cliffside. And the reason I was eaten by a shark was because I was trying to show there was an achievement for being eaten by a shark. But I already got it, I didn't know that, so there you go. Or I guess a trophy if you're on the PlayStation 3. So anyway, to get this mini kit, you just need to push this bridge over and jump onto this wall. And for some reason, whoever made Marty decided that Marty needs to hold onto the wall, then put one arm down and look down before he can jump to the other side instead of the other characters where they, well, that, where they just jump instantly. I don't know, whoever designed Marty didn't do that great of a job on that aspect, but the rest of it's pretty good, how he goes backwards whenever you shoot the gun. Anyway, just build this wall, come over to the left, and become a girl because you need someone with super jump. And move down that climbable net because that will be useful in case for some reason you fell down, or if you're playing a co-op and your friend wants to join you. I don't know, but move it down, uh, switch to the girl, jump up to the lever. And stay onto the lever until it breaks, because when it breaks, the three platforms will be completely out of the walls, and that will allow you to jump up here and push this brick into the wall, which will move out the other platform. Then you can jump up to the left and get the mini kit. For mini kit number four, you just need to shoot down these four skeletons inside the jail cells. And if you played through the story mode, you probably got three of the four skeletons and thought, Ah, oh, Traveler's Tales, why do you do this to me? Why don't you let me get the fourth one? Because it <laughs> really is annoying when you can get all three of them, or when you can get three or four of them, but you just can't get the fourth one, and it's so obvious that they did that for a reason. To make you come back on free play, to add replay value to the game, so that way the game doesn't last only 6 hours, it lasts 12 hours. Yeah, no, I'm not complaining though, I know why they do it, but... <laughs> uh, there's one skeleton in there, and then to get the other three, you just have to break open these ones and shoot down these three skeletons. And you can use anyone with a gun besides Marty or someone with a bomb. But I just like using William Turner because his axes are pretty easy to control and they just work with you. The guns take forever to take out for some reason. I don't know, just build the last three skeletons and that will give you the fourth mini kit. And this one isn't exactly a mini kit yet, but it is the beginnings of a mini kit. And that's because there are five of these boats you have to build. Only three of them are in this area, the last two are in the next area. But just build these three mini kits and mini kits, build these three ships and you will be able to go on to the actual fifth one. And for this one, you don't actually have to do what I'm about to do, but uh, you would if you were in story mode. But if you're in free play, you can just become a girl and super jump on the posts. But assuming maybe you are in story mode? I don't know. If you are, you'll have to search the compass for this, and it is also another compass item, so there's that, but... Anyway, so when you find the post, you'll need to dig it up, and for some reason my controller was not working with me. It wouldn't let me open up the stupid character selection screen, which you can get by holding down Y or triangle in the... Uh, triangle in the PlayStation 3. I have no idea what it is for the computer or the Wii, but anyway, just make the post and again, if you were in single player, you'd have to jump from each individual one over to the mini kit. 
But since we are not, you can just become a girl and super jump at the last one. You don't even have to jump on any of these and get the fifth mini kit. Now the fourth one requires getting a bunch of flags, and by a bunch I mean three of them. So you just need to come back to this area, jump up here, and you'll see all these red flags up on top, which don't really do anything but give you studs. And for th there I couldn't move because of the stupid controls. <laughs> anyway, there's a blue one over here which you can just jump up to really easily. And that is one of three of them. The other two are obviously in the next area, so all you have to do is jump down, leave this area, and climb up this palm tree, which is near the exit of that previous area. So climb up this tree. Maybe it's not a palm tree. Yeah, it has to be a palm tree. I don't know. I live in the middle of a desert. I have no idea what grass is. I have no idea what trees are. All I know is that they're big green things that give us oxygen. So there was flag number two, flag number three is right on top of that and that's kind of tricky to get to, jump onto that box and get it, and to the, in that building where that soldier is there's also another mini kit which for some reason I didn't record, or I don't have it, I don't know what happened to that clip, but inside that house where the soldier was there's also another mini kit, don't forget to get that. Now for the, I believe this is the seventh one, you need to use Marty or someone with an explosive to blow up those silver objects and come into here and then you need to be someone who can go through coral and if you play through a couple of the dead man's chest levels now the whatever the third movie is called uh i don't know if you play through some of those levels you will get bootstrap who is well william turner's dad and obviously he can go through coral so just come up there get all those lovely blue studs maybe there's a purple one in there I don't know I'm colorblind so forgive me for that <laughs> but uh, get the hot dog and for some reason when my stupid AI teammate he calls himself my teammate anyway when he came through he knocked the hot dog out of my hands I don't know what happened so get the hot dog and get it twice if you need to go back through the coral and then give it back to the very hungry sailor I'm assuming he's a sailor since this is a pirate game. And then he will toss out his spare mini kit ship in a bottle, because you know everyone just has one of those lying around. And for the eighth one, ninth one, you need to build the final two. Oh, the last one was the. Okay, my phone rings every single time I'm narrating. Anyway, I had my mini kits messed up. So, anyway, for the ninth one, you just need to build these final two ships in the last area and it will appear on the fifth one. And then for the final one, you just need to have someone who can walk on the ocean floor, anyone will work, and you'll see that crab in the cage kind of there on the left of the screen. Can't see it now because the screen's covering it up, but anyway, I switched to uh, Serena, and there's the last mini kit.